Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are very happy to be here and to announce some concrete steps in, in the development of so-called Blue Belt concept, which was launched during Belgian presidency and which can have a very serious impact uh, on our uh, <coughs> short sea shipping. Today, only about um, a third of freight moving within the EU European Union is carried by, by sea. Almost 50% percent is carried by road. Industry complains that they are forced to send goods by road because a heavy administrative burden causes long delays in ports and makes shipping unattractive. Ships can sometimes wait for hours or even days in ports for customs clearance. Today, together with Algeda Semeta, we are proposing two key measures to ease customs formalities in ports. For intra-EU shipping, we want to upgrade the procedures already in place to make them shorter and more flexible. For ships that call also in third country ports, we want to use IT tools to separate EU and the non-EU goods on board. This will significantly lighten the customs formalities needed. In May this year, we presented the Ports Policy Review to improve ports operations and onboard transport connections at 319 key seaports along Europe's coastline. These customs measures are complementary and will further improve the efficiency of services Europe's ports. We urgently need to put maritime transport on an equal footing with other forms of transport. The days when lorries or trains faced customs checks and controls as they moved within Europe's single market are long gone. So it makes no sense that today EU goods on a ship traveling from Antwerp to Rotterdam have the same customs formalities as if coming from China. We are making today another step to making barriers to free movement of goods to think of the past for shipping too. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As Sim just first outlined, today we are presenting measures to extend the single market to the sea. The Blue Belt will put shipping on a level playing field with other forms of transport, reduce costs and administration, and facilitate trade. It will also enhance the situation for customs by simplifying procedures and enabling them to focus more on areas of real risk. From a customs point of view, maritime transport is one that requires a particular approach. For a start, each ship carries huge volumes of goods to be cleared. To give you an idea of what we are talking about, in 2011, EU Customs handled more than 1.7 billion tons of merchandise traveling by sea. Moreover, vessels nearly always leave the EU territory, even in voyages between EU ports. This places them outside the direct surveillance of authorities and therefore more exposed to risk. In 2011, maritime transport also accounted to the highest volume of illegal goods. 810 million illicit cigarettes and 70 million counterfeit products were seized, for example. So we are faced with a dual challenge. On one hand, we want to facilitate trade in this important sector by easing and speeding up customs procedures. On the other hand, Customs must be able to still ensure that EU citizens and businesses are protected against illegal goods entering our single market. The Blue Belt will help us rise to these challenges. It will make customs formalities for intra-EU shipping shorter, cheaper and more flexible by upgrading the regular shipping services procedure. And the harmonized e-manifest 
will facilitate more efficient checks on the ships that leave the EU territory in their journeys by enabling customs to distinguish between EU and international goods. This saves time and money for businesses, and it facilitates the work of customs by freeing up time and resources needed to collect duties and better target risks. All in all, the Blue Belt project is one that very much reflects our European agenda for more growth and competitiveness. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have questions for the commissioners? Please. Microphone. Well, uh, regarding uh, no. shipping services, the normalista laivaliikenteestä komissiolla on jo olemassa tästä ehdotus jo tuli, on tullikomitean käsittelyssä ja tuulikomitean tuulikomitean täytyy sitten tehdä sitä päätös ja me kuvittelisimme että se päätös syntyy aika pikaisesti jos syksyllä ja sen jälkeen sitten kun tuulikomitean asiasta päättänyt niin sen jälkeen se astuu voimaan ja tästä sähköisestä tuliselvityksestä e-manifestista. Siitä esitys on tullut komissiolta tulossa vielä tämän vuoden aikana ja jos kaikki menee sujuvasti neuvostossa, mitä tietysti toivon, niin ehkä jo vuoden 2015 alusta tämä e-manifest on käytössä. Thank you so much, Anna Pisonero from the Spanish News Agency Europa Press. Can you just give us um, a number of and how much time we would re reduce these meille vähän siitä, että minkälaisesta ajansäästöstä tässä on kysymys? Hyvin merkittävästä, sanotaanko niin. Joskus, kun is leaving whatever port in Valencia and and going to 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 Marseille. It sometimes needs needs days uh, waiting until the formalities are completed. But of course now, when we use these two elements, so one is regular shipping service, and then other the e-manifest, it uh, must must go very smoothly and and not take time at all. Well, just uh, just to add, uh, so uh, just imagine that uh, currently in the mo uh, most uh, cases uh, when. The ship contains both EU goods and uh, um, international goods. Actually, uh, the EU goods, uh, they should go through entire procedure, customs clearance procedure, while when the e-manifest uh, will be introduced, actually EU uh, goods, uh, they uh, will be uh, able to uh, enter the EU market uh, without any additional uh, clearance procedures. So actually that will save uh, a huge amount of time uh, in terms of and and will increase the speed uh, very significantly. <laughs> 